All right, for my beginner, which is the higher beginner, uh, who's been training with me in Bay Badminton Training Academy, uh, this week video, I'm gonna focus or I'm gonna give you another three uh, different exercise than last week. For those who missed my last week video, please check the link description below. Uh, that way you can watch it at home and then you guys can practice and not miss any shot, uh, any exercise, all right? So last week, uh, I give you three different exercises. The first exercise, which is the scissor jump. Okay. The second exercise, uh, we did the middle to the back. Okay. And then the third exercise, we did middle to the front, only half court. Last week was half court only, but this week we are going to cover full court. Okay. So this week exercise, we are going to focus on footwork from middle to the two corner at the back. I call this v back footwork okay so from center to the back to corner okay so this is how it looks like for the first exercise exercise number one early position okay open shuffle shuffle hit shuffle shuffle return again shuffle shuffle hit, shuffle shuffle return okay you can also use number one two hit. one two return one, two, one, two, return. On the forehand corner, same. One, two, hit. One, two, return. One, two, hit. One, two, return. Right. When you guys do this exercise, okay, I want you to focus not only on the speed. Okay, I want you to focus on the footwork, the motion. Make sure uh, you do everything correctly every time you hit. You want to bring your racket back to the center like that okay and also make sure master one area before you move on to the second area okay you want to feel comfortable before you increase the speed all right so you're gonna combine both left and right you can also do random okay you can once you feel comfortable with pattern you can also start doing random one two, one return one Return. You can also go straight back to three. One return. One, two, hit. One return. Number two, we are going to focus on center to the front. Again, last week we only cover half court, and this week video we are going to cover both directions. Start from ready position. We are first. We are going to the forehand corner first. Okay. So all you need to do is. I want you to apply the shuffle, shuffle, and hit. For example, here, shuffle, lunge, hit, shuffle, return. Okay, shuffle, lunge, hit, shuffle, return. Okay, you can also start with a little bounce and then push off your left foot. So this footwork, I call this split step. Okay, this, this split step is very important, actually, if you want to improve or must um, improve your game to the next level you need to learn how to do the split step okay so again a little bounce and then push push off your left foot okay okay watch it again push left back okay this split step it will help you to improve your reaction shuffle return shuffle hit shuffle return okay go to the back backhand corner same thing you can apply the split step. Yeah, so from here, bounce, and then push off your right foot. Again, bounce, push off, and then lunge. Shuffle, return. Bounce, push, shuffle. Or you can also do second footwork, which is keep your right foot in the front. So from here, okay, shuffle, shuffle, hit, shuffle return again shuffle lunge hit shuffle return shuffle shuffle hit shuffle return okay so on the backhand corner you can apply two different style or methods first is again like what i said you can apply this step which is you, your the starting point always start with the left foot okay so watch this left foot and then right foot shuffle return the second one your starting point 
start with your right foot. Okay, so from here, right foot, right foot, shuffle, and then return again. Right foot, right foot, shuffle, return. Okay, so there are two ways that you can uh, apply for this front exercise. Okay, now we're gonna combine together. Shuffle, hit, shuffle, return, shuffle, hit, shuffle, return, shuffle, hit, shuffle, return, shuffle, hit, shuffle, return. I find I I feel like when you go to the left, if you start off with your left foot, it will be faster, slightly faster than if you have to change with the left uh, sorry, right foot. Okay, so that's how I feel, and uh, but of course you guys can apply either way. So do this exercise two minutes, sets of five for this exercise. All right. So for the third exercise, which is we are going to focus on drive side to side. Okay, side to side is the footwork is very similar to how you do the front, except you go to the side. Okay, same thing. On the side, there are two ways to do it. So, number one, you apply the shuffle and then lunge. Hit, return. Again, shuffle, lunge, hit, return. You want to pay attention on your toe when you lunge. Okay, I see many players, many students, they go like this. The toe is pointing forward. Okay, so that's not right. The toe should pointing slightly to the side, not to the front. Okay, if you go like this, okay, this is very risky. You can slip, you can break your angle, so it's very dangerous. Okay, so you want to make sure your toe is pointing to the side. Okay, so let me repeat again shuffle and then hit, shuffle back, shuffle, hit, shuffle back. Okay. As soon as you move on the first footwork, at the same time, you want to lift your elbow. You want to bring your racket up. So that way, when you lunge on the last step, you can hit at the same time. So watch, shuffle, hit. So lunge and hit almost about the same time. Okay, return, shuffle, hit. Back to middle. Second exercise, you can also apply your left foot cross behind yeah, especially if you're short, shorter you, you, you don't have a leg like, leverage to reach out the distance you can apply shuffle and then lunge okay this will allow you to give you extra space so that way you can reach out more okay shuffle drive shuffle and then hit shuffle hit return okay now we are going to focus on the middle to the back. Same thing, it's very simple and easy. All you do is start with your left foot. On the drive, backhand, you have to start with your left foot. So you never start with the right foot like this. And okay, that's not correct, okay? So on the backhand drive, shuffle and then hit. It hurt. Shuffle and then hit. It hurt. Shuffle and then hit. Again, pay attention to the toe. Make sure your toe is pointing to the side. Do not pointing. Do not pointing to the to the front or to the back. Okay. So shuffle, hit, return. Shuffle, hit, return. Okay. You can also apply this footwork when you defend, not only when you're attacking on the higher shot, but you can apply this footwork when you do the defend. But since you guys haven't learned the defend yet with me, so. I'm gonna focus on the best first, which is the easy shot, which is the drive shot. Okay, so we combine forehand and backhand. Shuffle, forehand, drive. Shuffle, backhand, drive. Shuffle, forehand, drive. Shuffle, back, backhand, drive. Okay, so do this exercise, same two minutes, sets of five. So for this week exercise, each day you're gonna do 30 minute exercise. 10 minutes at the back, 10 minutes B front and then 10 minutes side to side. Okay, so I hope you can spend about 
uh, 30 minutes per day. Do it from Monday to Friday or Monday to Saturday. Or you can do like every other day as well. So that way uh, you develop your muscle memory and you don't forget from whatever you learned for the past week, past month or past year uh, with our uh, training program. All right, so I hope this video helped. And again, this video not only for my beginner student, but also for everyone who's watching at home. And I hope you guys stay safe um, and stay healthy and keep your exercise going. Do not stop and I will see you next week for the next video.